Good morning, KU, and welcome to our first broadcast of the semester. My name is Charlotte James. And I'm Kira Hageman. And we are so happy to have you here. So thrilled. I, it's my first time hosting, actually. So well, we are so excited to I be know. doing it with you. Yes. Um, how was your summer? Let's talk about that. You know, it was great. I actually stayed in Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I worked as an orientation assistant, so I got to welcome in all of the new freshmen, um, and I got to meet a lot of parents and guests. It was a big experience. So what about you? Um, I just worked, really. I worked four jobs and oh my goodness what I was these four jobs I taught dance I nannied I managed a pool and I would babysit and just a couple other odd jobs in between tuition, but so. yeah I gotta put food on the table but I actually was able to buy a car for myself which was a big girl purchase that and such a cool thing. yeah so her name is Margaret and I love my car oh my I love naming my car. Yes, absolutely. I feel like old people names are good for cars. I agree. My first car's name was Irene. Oh, so. <laughs> yes. Um, so we are officially back for the semester. Sophomore year, correct? Yes. Yep. Uh, what classes are you taking? Oh my goodness. So I'm in 304, which is like a writing class. I'm doing 201, which is a lot of like sports and like we're talking about like, a lot of parasocial things which is really cool there's some psychology behind it it's new for me oh my goodness what else i have a business class for management i'm all over the place what about you you know i feel the same way i have a couple political science classes i have my uh, journalism classes and then i have a, a finance class so oh, yeah. you know i will definitely be using that in my future so Absolutely. i'm looking forward to that and then a communications class as well um, but it's actually political communications, which is really exciting for me and all that. But do you have anything exciting coming up this week? Yeah, well, you know, actually, the first Donuts with the Dean of the fall semester is on Wednesday, September 11th from 8.45 to 10.15 a.m. And it's going to be in the lobby of Stouffer Flint Hall. So y'all can stop by and chat with the Dean and Brill and grab a free donut. I will definitely be there. Yeah. What about know. you? Um, well, obviously, the debate is tonight, yes. big presidential debate. Now, the Dole Institute of Politics is hosting a watch party for the presidential debate tonight, starting at 7.30, but you must RSVP to attend. I personally will be watching it in my apartment with my roommate because yes. I'm just excited to sit back and I know. be entertained, I will guess. Unfortunately, I have to like watch the highlights and like read news about it. Mm -hmm. I have like a bunch of meetings and stuff that go late on Tuesdays, but mm -hmm. I'm so excited to just kind of see where it takes us. Yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend. Uh, I'm a political science major as well as a journalism major. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to watch these debates yes. as well as read about them are is fascinating to compare and contrast yes. watching it and then reading. Um, so that's really exciting yeah. for me. And then, you know, football on Friday. Yes, I'm so excited. Are you going to the game? I am debating. I you bought the pass. I'm thinking about it. Um, did you go to the game last week? I did. Okay, yeah. You know, that loss on Saturday really broke my heart, though. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I had to take a rage fit. Rage fit for, like, <laughs> <laughs> about 30 minutes. I had to go take a walk. had to cool down a bit. I feel but... you. I feel you. I went out to dinner with one of my friends, and I was quite literally yelling in the yeah, restaurant. No, right? <laughs> it, was, it was a little rough, but... Um, you know, I, I'm thinking about it. I probably will go, just knowing me. I'll be like, oh, I don't want to go. Yeah, no. And then I'll end up going. Well, you know V is who we played for the bowl game, so I'm excited to see if we get as many flag calls as we got oh, last goodness, game. that was sad. Hopefully not, but I'm excited. I think, I don't know, I love watching it in person. Mm -hmm. You just get all the vibes back. It's the best mm -hmm. part, I think, about fall semester. Yeah. Is watching so the what are you most excited for the show this year? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. You're a producer. What are your plans for us? Oh, goodness. Well, I'm really excited to be producing this semester. I um, have a couple ideas for Man on the Street and yes. some more um, community involvement. But I think that's all we have for our first segment. If yeah. you want to add anything else. I think that's all I have. Great. Well, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we will have our special guest for you. Such a pretty day for a walk, Blue. Oh, one sec, let me tie my shoe. Stay right there. Blue! Blue, where are you going? Come back! Blue! Come back!
everyone, welcome back to Good Morning KU. My name is Ella Heron, and today I am joined with another junior here at KU, Maddie Thibodeau. How are Hi. you doing today, Maddie? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you so much for um, joining me today. I'm so excited oh, to have course. you. Um, so what are you studying here at KU? I study political science and psychology, and then I also have a minor in intelligence and national security. Oh, I didn't know that actually, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, I brought you on to the show this morning so that we could talk about your experience this summer at the University of Exeter. I believe it's in Southwest England, right? Yeah. What um, was the class that you took there? I took international relations there. Oh, awesome. Um, even though your program was only four weeks, I know you were able to travel. Did you have any favorite places that you went to, anywhere you would recommend other people to go if they were to visit England? Yeah, so I went to a lot of different places, but my favorite place was definitely Dartmouth Beach. Okay. Um, it's one of the most historical sites in England, and it is gorgeous. Um, it is like pebble beaches, but the water is so nice. Like it feels good and it's pretty. My friends and I found this little beach and there was like this castle up on the hill right next to it. Oh my gosh. And it was so pretty. That sounds like yeah. an Ed Sheeran song. Is that where the seagulls, yeah. where all the seagulls oh, were attacking no, you? No, that was, that was a different, I'm blinking on the name of it, but. Yeah. Yeah, I had a seagull hit me in the head and steal my food. <laughs> stay, stay safe if you ever go the seagulls are to Exeter. Huge. They're massive compared to here. That's kind of scary. It honestly. is scary. Was that one of the culture shocks? Were there any <laughs> other culture shocks that you had in Exeter? Um, everything's expensive there because the UK pound is more than oh. the US dollar. Love that. So I spent a lot more money there than I thought I did. It's okay. You know, it'd be, it's worth it for the yeah, experience. It's okay. It was a lot of fun. It yeah. was a good time. If you could bring like one thing, like one type of food or one type of like building or architecture or anything like into say Lawrence, like what would it be? Um, that stuck with you? It's definitely cream tea. So cream tea is like a scone and then you get a whole like teapot of tea and it is so good and it comes with clotted cream and raspberry jam oh and gosh. it is like the most delicious thing ever. That sounds really so, good. You have to yeah. drink it with your pinky up? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, yeah, I good. Did. I had to respect the culture. Great, right, of course. No, of course. Okay, now we're going to do a little game that I prepared <laughs> for you. It's um, this or that, U.S. versus England. Okay. Um, so we're going to do slang first. So um, <laughs> flat versus apartment, what's better? I like saying flat. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Like flatmates. Yeah, it fun. feels kind of elevated, you know? It, it does. And the flats, oh my gosh, their flats there, guys, like, they're so good. Because I stayed in their freshman flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a full-size bed in my own bathroom. Maybe it better was, than the freshman dorm. It's just a little, a little bit nicer. A little? Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, um, Mackers versus McDonald's. <laughs> Mackers is so fun. Mackers is fun. <laughs> so fun to say. <laughs> okay, uh, football or versus soccer, whatever you call it. Um, okay, so I was there during the Euro, like, thing, whatever, the, the Euros. Yeah. So I, if I said soccer there, I would have gotten, like, probably hit yeah probably up, so kicked out of the country. now I'm actually sort of used to saying football mm. instead yeah yeah good. which has gotten me hate here it's okay yeah. I, I accept you for that Thank okay you. um <laughs> chips or fries fries okay yeah love they actually taste better than chips too oh really yeah they, chips are like the steak same. fries oh okay and they're not good okay and then um pub or bar is there a difference are they the same thing or are they just called different um a pub so there's like a sports bar okay and then a pub. So all the bars we consider bars would be considered pubs there. But like a sports bar is strictly where you go to like play pool or watch games. Oh, fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then finally, left side or right side driving? What was oh, better? It's actually so scary driving over there. Because <laughs> one of my friends, so it's an international summer school, which means it's people from all over the world. So one of my friends was from Exeter. So she actually had a car there and she'd mm -hmm. drive us. And I really thought like we were going to get hit every single time she drove. It but was you terrifying. Didn't, right? No, I survived. Great. Good. But it was scary. I don't like it. Well, I'm glad. Well, <laughs> would you recommend the University of Exeter to anyone I would, who's interested? I would so recommend. And if you're scared to go alone, you should go anyways, because it's like the most fun thing ever. And you make so many friends so quickly. Amazing. So. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about your experience. Mm -hmm. Thanks and hopefully for having all me. of our watchers, if they're considering going abroad or if they're looking specifically at Exeter, that they decide to go yeah. and that they watch out for the seagulls. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, good morning, KU. And we're going to turn to a break. Thank you. Do you feel like you are constantly coughing or always reaching for the tissues? Or maybe you have a headache that just won't go away no matter what you try. Did one of your favorite hobbies become an empty pastime? 
Are you constantly exhausted and wanting to sleep all day? Welcome back, I'm Elena. And I'm Harrison, and this is your Good Morning KU News Update. Sad news to lead off the day today as vocal legend James Earl Jones died yesterday at the age of 93. The voice of Darth Vader, the Lion's King Mufasa, and The Simpsons' Bleeding Gums Murphy also appeared in nearly 200 films, including Coming to America and the baseball dramas Field of Dreams and The Sandlot. He's also known for his signature sign-off, This is CNN. The Princess of Wales announced yesterday that she has completed chemotherapy for her undisclosed cancer. Catherine expressed relief in her recovery and is looking forward to returning to work while continuing the path of healing and a full recovery. In the meantime, it is expected that she will be present at a handful of public engagements in the upcoming months. An asteroid burned up this week in Earth's atmosphere over Luzon Island in the Philippines. According to the Catalina Sky Survey, the asteroid was roughly three feet in size, which is not uncommon with those that hit Earth about every two weeks. What was unusual about this asteroid is that it was actually spotted before its harmless impact. Former President Donald Trump and current Vice President Kamala Harris are meeting tonight in Philadelphia. Both campaigns agreed to rules similar to the June debate between Trump and President Biden including closed microphones when the other candidate is speaking. The debate will be broadcast live on ABC News at 8 p.m. Students in the Media Arts Capstone course are partnering with Cavney's Markets in Kansas City to conceptualize and create a new volunteer welcome center with multimedia content. Cavney's mission is to build a more inclusive food system by transforming food loss into food access. Media Arts and Production students Hayden Spratlin, Olivia Boone, Ella Brown, Keenan Ethavangza and Will Winnie Fiss are leading this project. The KU Alumni Association will honor two graduates with the Fred Ellsworth Medallion Award for their outstanding volunteer records. The medallion commemorates the standard of service set by Ellsworth, a 1922 KU graduate who led the association from 1929 to 1963. Both Brad Corwell, who was graduated in 1997, and Tom Wiggins, class of 1975, will receive the honor on September 12th at the Jayhawk Welcome Center. And that will wrap it up for today's news brief. After the break, Emma will be here for the weather. Living a healthy lifestyle can be very important. Make sure you get plenty of exercise every day. Even your dogs can use exercise and water. Look like this, not like this. Look like this, not this. From adversity, we rose. We made history and became pioneers, voyagers, champions, jayhawks. And when our chant rises, haunting and hallowed, Jayhawks are telling the world what's near. Victory. Welcome back to Good Morning KU. I'm Emma here with your weekly weather forecast. Well, while we are getting into the second week of September, unfortunately, we aren't seeing those nice, crisp fall temperatures that you might be expecting. Like last week, this week we have continuously high temperatures, mainly sunny skies, but the good news is less humidity, so it won't feel as sticky outside, and lower wind speeds. While we're waiting, However, as we continue into the rest of the week, we are still seeing some cooler temperatures in the mornings. We are still seeing slightly cloudy skies later in the week, but again, nothing too much that's going to resemble fall weather just yet. Taking a look at our current temperatures in Lawrence, we're currently sitting at about 65 degrees and it's similar in Kansas City. Down in Ottawa, it's dropped just a little bit to 61 and Topeka and Leavenworth all the way up to about 67. Taking a look outside, obviously you can see those clear skies, not a cloud in sight, and that's going to continue pretty much for the rest of the day. 
Current conditions, we are sitting at about 69 degrees once again, all sunny skies and lower wind speeds and lower humidity levels, so nothing too unbearable just yet. Taking a look at our hourly planner, today at 3 p.m. we're reaching our high of around 86 degrees and then by 7 p.m. going down to 80. As we get further into the evening and the night, we're dropping all the way down to 65 degrees and that's as about as cool as we're going to get today. Taking a look at our radar, nothing too exciting happening today. No clouds, clear skies, about what we can expect for most of this week. Taking a look at tonight's forecast, again, we're reaching a low of around 52 degrees. All clear skies, no clouds, no chance of rain. However, our humidity is going to rise just a little bit, up to about 68%. So it's going to feel maybe a little bit sticky outside. Your hair might frizz up, but those lower wind speeds mean nothing too crazy is going on. Taking a look at tomorrow's forecast, we're getting all the way up to a high of about 90 degrees, so it is going to feel a little bit like that summer weather we've been experiencing lately. Again, clear skies, low humidity, and lowered wind speeds. Taking a look at our sports forecast, today and tomorrow, the men's and women's golf team are in Grand Haven, Mi Michigan, and there they are experiencing some slightly cooler temperatures, a high of about 77 today and a high of about 79 tomorrow. They are seeing a little bit more clouds than we are here in Lawrence, but again, similar wind speeds, similar humidities. Taking a look at our sports forecast for this Friday, September 13th in Kansas City, around 3 p.m. it's going to be around 81 degrees, all the way down to 78 during kickoff at 6 p.m. The good news is the sunny skies won't be as bad, more clouds that we're seeing, so it should be a pretty fun game to experience. And taking a look at our extended forecast for the week, we are seeing some clouds happening Thursday and Friday of this week, as well as some slightly cloudy skies Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. Again, the lowest temperatures we're going to be seeing during the day is around 85 this weekend, and the highest is tomorrow at about 90 degrees. Well, that's all we have for weather. Thank you so much for tuning in to our first Good Morning KU show of the semester, and we'll see you here next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thank you.